Hi, this is Ithiar from Bimsur International and in this video you will learn how to design a form using Workflow Studio. Let's get started. I just opened Workflow Studio, which is our development tool, and this is where we design the forms that the end users will submit. Depending on the application, forms can have a workflow associated with them. So for instance, right now you're looking at an expense declaration example and under the project explorer section in the right side, we see that this project has a form and also a flow. Once a user submits the form, a workflow process will be triggered automatically and the form will be sent to the people responsible for approving those expenses. If you take a look at the form, the top section is dedicated to the user's personal information and below that there is an expense details table where the users will list their expenses. It is incredibly easy to create a form. You only need to drag elements from the toolbox section and drop them in the form just like I'm doing right now with this text box. We can change the text and the appearance of the label and also modify the properties of the text box itself. We can select the data type to indicate if we are talking about plain text, a number, a date, money, and we also have to decide if it will be the user entering information into the text box or if it will be populated automatically from a database. Other things we can add are a label, a combo box with a drop down menu, a radio list, a checklist, a database connection, a formula, a button, different types of tables, an attachment, a barcode, user data, of course images to include, for example, the logo of the company. And you can see there are many, many different options. This form in particular includes a database connection so that the user's information can come up automatically. And it also includes a formula to calculate the total amount. To insert a new expense, I created another view. So whenever a user clicks on add a new expense, another form appears to select the type of the expense and enter the amount and upload a receipt. We could also create different views to hide or show part of the information on the form depending on what we want the user or the approver to see. And this is basically how you create a form in Workflow Studio. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you want to learn how to associate a workflow process to this expense declaration, make sure to watch this next video.